Good eating is about fresh taste, okay? So we grilled the chicken and you saw us, oh God, boy, look at that chicken. This is juicy as can, look, look at the juice that's in there, that's coming off the chicken. Um, I made myself a nice salad right here that we're gonna go ahead and use. I have some of that cabbage cheese from uh, Vermont that we got. And I decided to go ahead and make myself a green sauce. Green sauce is like a Mediterranean, or excuse me, a Peruvian sauce. And it is, when you're talking about fresh taste, this is full of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cilantro, good bits, lots of cilantro, and we're gonna put this in um, our ninja. I've got four cloves of garlic right here. I've got myself a couple of jalapeno peppers, and you're gonna take the seeds out. That's where all the heat really is. The funny thing is there's some jalapeno peppers that are hotter than others, and I never know from the grocery store that I have, sometimes they're more on the milder side, and then sometimes you get them that they're hot as can be. But we're gonna make this spicy. And this is like a really good sauce. You know, unfortunately, almost everything that we get now is processed in full of so much stuff. Now I have some green onions, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the whiter part of the onions, and we're gonna put that in our salad, and we're actually gonna put the green stem parts. This part is gonna go in with our sauce. It looks like I need a bigger one of these because I've kind of filled, pulled this sucker out. Okay, so we got some fresh onions to go on our salad there. Now, you can see all the green here that's in the green sauce. What we're gonna now add is, we're gonna add some olive oil. It's gonna help to make it creamier. And we're gonna end up putting in mayo. Normally we'll put in about equal parts of mayonnaise and uh, Greek yogurt. But unfortunately, Greek yogurt per serving, okay, which is three quarters of a cup, we're not gonna use three quarters of a cup, it has five grams of sugar and five carbs. So we're just gonna use just about a third of a cup. So not the end of the world. And then we're gonna put some lime juice. Now you never know how juicy your limes are. I got two in case it was not juicy, but this was nice and juicy. Now as you cook this, excuse me, not cook it, grind this in our Ninja, you may want to put in a little bit more olive oil or mayonnaise if it's too thick. I actually like it a little bit on the thinner side. Now this is good as a salad dressing or just to take the chicken and dip into it. We want to add some of our fresh ground pepper. Now we have a gift from our friend Marvine. This is a pepper grinder. But if you look, come a little closer. The pepper is more chunky as opposed to the finer cut. And I like the finer cut. And you know, I love a little bit of garlic salt. I'm not a big salt person, but you do need a little bit in there. Now let's see if we can get this all closed. All right. I'm not gonna make a mess. Probably should put the mayonnaise in first. Get it down there nice and deep. Let's 
see if we got it. I overstuffed this just a little bit, but we're okay. And look at that, like magic, green sauce. Now, let's do a taste test. Take a piece of that chicken and dip into it. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. So good. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we're going to pull parts from this chicken. We're going to make ourselves a nice little salad. I need to grate some cheese. And then we're going to do the taste test. All right. So now, this is going to be great. And see, this is one of those things that's nice because it'll help us to uh, make food for tomorrow, too, because we're, we're doing two things at once. We've got a nice little bit of salad right there. And the chicken breast, I just like to just pull it apart. Just shred it. And it is, look at that. Just beautiful. We had some almonds would be great some nice sliced almonds but this is get don't get your protein on um i think my avocados might not be let me see if they're ripe yet we just bought them today uh unfortunately our avocados aren't quite ready we'll put some of our cheese on here taste tester That is a salad. Oh my goodness. The green sauce. And if you can call your wonderful daughter. out there who's saying to me that doing keto that this is bad for my heart this is not this is kind of like a mediterranean type of meal right here and i think that this is just i don't care what you're doing this is a great meal for the heart and for the soul And as always, I appreciate you guys. And uh, leave me a note how your keto recipes are going. Because I definitely like to try some. If there's something you want me to try, let me know in the comments so we can get it cooking. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you.